Hi right, guys, this is Loic uh, from PancakeWorld.com. Um, thanks for watching. Um, like I said in a, in a previous video, we're gonna try to post more and more videos this year uh, to help you guys solve simple issues with regards to machines, mix, or ordering online, or anything else, really. Okay? Uh, please visit the support or FAQ section of the website. There's tons of questions there that have already been answered. Um, it took us a, a you know a fair while to write the content in a, in a, on a page. Um, more, more often than not, the question you're asking has been answered. Um, so, so that's it. So, I've posted a, a video earlier about how to reset a, an electric machine, whether it's a CEBI A4, the heavy duty from Krampus, or a CEBI V4, which is a standard model. Okay, and I'm gonna show you something very simple with regards to um, a gas machine. Okay, so a gas griddle from Krampus. Um, so this is very much about regulating the machine uh, the way you want um, so that it performs as much as it can. So here you've got a CGBI N4 from Krampus, CGBI N4 from Krampus, um, which is a six branch burner model, okay, with no ignition, no automatic ignition, okay, so it's a manual ignition whereby you've got to use a lighter to light the machine, okay. Uh, Fantastic machine, extremely reliable, built for the last 40 years. Uh, we've, we ourselves as caterers, we've used tens of them, but, but I think the ones we're using nowadays in 2019, they're probably seven years old and they've been battered. They really have been battered. They've had thousands of crepes um, made on and it's still going absolutely strong. Uh, nowadays, however, when I do buy some new machines uh, myself for the business, I tend to go for the automatic ignition as it's just simply easier for the for the staff employee. Okay. Um, now, this machine there, uh, for example, it, it's just just open for you to have a, a quick look at. I just need to, to fix a little rivet that, that has broken on there. That happens sadly. It's just uh, th those machines will never break, but sadly in transport they can be damaged. Um, now, a customer asked me the other day how to regulate the flame or how to get the flame um, from being completely orange to being nice and bright and blue you know so all what i did there was to remove the little knob okay the, the control knob and as you can see there's a little hole there and inside the hole and i'm gonna try to, to go as close as i can there inside the hole you can see there's a little screw okay flat head screw don't know if you can see there, but hopefully you can. Okay, and all what you've got to do is to stick a very small screwdriver head into there and regulate the um, the flow of gas uh, in order to get the flame strength you want. Okay, it's a very simple fix, you know, and that will help you have more consistency and more performance out of your machine. Okay, so that's an easy, easy fix uh, that you can do all yourself. You don't have, you don't need a gas safe engineer. Well, I, I've said that you do need a gas safe engineer to uh, connect the machine for the first time, and they'll provide you with a gas certificate. Okay, uh, but then all all those little fix can be done by yourself afterwards. And this make, makes me think that I could show you something else on that very machine. So here we go again. Right, this little thing there is actually the gas outlet if you will the gas output right so the gas your bottle is connected um, there via an orange pipe okay the gas goes through into the, the sort of um, compound here and it's simply coming out of that little thing here you know and despite of Krampus having very very strict and rigorous um, uh, testing sessions in their factory in France on some occasions, on some occasions, that little mini little rod is a little too far from the hole. Okay, and, I, and I've had that before uh, on some of our own machines. Okay, whereby the gas was simply too too far out, you know, or coming out too far. Okay, so we simply couldn't, um, you know, we, we were pressing on the button, just releasing the gas, trying to light it up, click, 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 and it absolutely wouldn't light up. Okay, so all what you've got to do is to bend that rod a little more, a little inwards, towards one of the holes there. Okay, it's an easy fix, once again, it's a very easy fix, 
um, to gain more performance and, uh, and start your machine easier. Thank you for watching, please like this video, add a comment below and please don't forget to subscribe.